In this video, we're going to talk about what rational expressions are and how to simplify rational expressions. A rational expression is an expression in which the numerator and denominator are polynomials. A function that is written in terms of a rational expression is called a rational function. Some examples of rational expressions are things like 1 over x, something like x squared minus 3 over 4 plus x minus x squared, and also something like x to the fifth minus 3 over x squared. Some non-examples of rational expressions are things that aren't rational expressions or generally things that include radicals, so something like 1 over radical x, or something like radical x over you know, 3 plus x. Even though these are both fractions and we might think they're rational expressions, they're not because radical x is not a polynomial. Let's look at this example. Here we've been given two functions, f and g, and we're first being asked to evaluate f of x over g of x when x is equal to negative 5, which is the same thing as them asking us to find f of negative 5 over g of negative 5. So f of x over g of x is equal to negative 2x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 6. Now all we need to do is substitute negative 5 everywhere we see an x in this. We simplify this and we end up getting 14 over 4, which comes out to be 3.5. For part b, we want to evaluate 1 over f of x when x is equal to 3. So 1 over f of x is equal to 1 over negative 2x plus 4. And when x is equal to 3, they're basically asking us to find 1 over f of 3, which would be equal to 1 over negative 2 times 3 plus 4, which comes out to be negative 1 half. Here's another example. I suggest pausing the video, try to evaluate this function on your own, then hit play to see me go through the answer. So here we want to evaluate f of negative 2, given f of x equals this rational function. We would evaluate this the same way. We would evaluate any other type of function. We're just going to take negative 2, plug it in everywhere we see an x in the original equation, and remember to include parentheses when we're doing that. So f of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 squared over 3 times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 1. and we end up getting 4 over 9 as our answer.